is Julia Hallstrand, and at the time of recording this, I am 17. Um, this is my cat. She decided to join me for this. Her name is Lucy. She's pretty freaking adorable. <laughs> um, my birthday is April 26th, 1999, and I have a fairly small family. Um, I have one sister, and obviously a mother, and a father. Um, here's a little baby photo of me when I was little. That's my sister, and that's my mother, my father, and me. It's really interesting looking back at old photos. Um, so, I have always lived in central Wisconsin. My hometown is Edgar, Wisconsin, and as of 2014, I moved to Weston and started to attend D.C. Everest Senior High, and there I met my best friend, Faith, and here's a little photo strip from prom. It was really cute. Awesome time. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I have always loved science. It has always been a passion of mine. When I was little, my father ran a computer business from our home, and he taught me all he knew with programming and building computers and everything else. And I'm going to say in fourth grade, him and I built a robot together. And we called it Fred. It was really cute. But then the cats chewed on the wire, and we never got around to fixing it. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. She's just being really cute and, like, rubbing up on me. Um, my sister is 15. She's such a little sweetheart. Um... She has special needs, which was a little bit hard for me when I was younger to understand, but now it's, it's made me a different person, a person with more compassion and understanding for others, especially those with uh, differences and diversities. Um, she currently attends school at Chilita in La Crosse, and this is her school picture. She's so cute, isn't she? Um, she loves the cats, too, and it's really cute. <laughs> um, another one of my passions is Spanish. I absolutely love it. I love the language. I love the culture. I guess you could say I'm kind of obsessed with it. <laughs> and I've kind of always been that way. Um, when I was younger, I used to love watching Veggie Tales. And one of the silly songs with Larry was the dance of the cucumber. <laughs> and if you may not know what that is, it's basically this song that is sung in Spanish and translated into English. And I spent hours and days listening to it on repeat to try and get all the words down and sing it perfectly. And that's kind of where I started. And in middle school, they offered some elective courses to help us acclimate to high school. And I took Spanish. So since seventh grade, I have been taking Spanish and just loving it. Um, senior year, I will be in Spanish six. And I intend on pursuing that through college. I feel like it's important to learn another language. It helps with the developmental processes in your brain and it's like really cool. It's kind of like a superpower. You just go up to somebody and like, hey, I know this language. And they'll be like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. <laughs> um, I want to go to Costa Rica and Panama to help with the animal uh, re rehabilitation centers um, because I absolutely love animals. I love biology. I love genetics. It's just everything put into one and 
there's a lot of issues with deforest deforestation and uh, all of their habitats are getting cut down and it's causing a lot of issues and injuries for them so I'd like to help them and eventually get them back into the wild and have them live their happy life. Um, I'm really bad at videos like these, I'm sorry. <laughs> I love reading. It kind of takes you to another place, lets you live out your fantasies in a different world. I love photography as well. I love taking pictures and I'm not the best, I'd say, but I'm fairly good. I, there's always room and improvement for everything somebody does, so I still want to pursue that through and get more and more practice so I can become the best that I can be at it. Um, I have also done a lot of acting. I have always participated in like the little like elementary school plays and middle school plays. I'd have to say the highlight of that was when I was in sixth grade. I was Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz at our local theater in the central Wisconsin area. And that was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Loved the costume, loved the cast, it was amazing. Um, I've also gone through the school for the productions and a local theater company called River District Theater and there I was in a lot of plays as well. I've also always loved singing, kind of inherited that from my mother because she always loved singing. She still does. She always is still singing. And I'm kind of grateful for having her because she is a big supporter of the things I want to do. And she will encourage me no matter what, which is really nice for a person to have. Um, I love learning. I've been told that I'm like a sponge in that factor. I always have this desire to just learn as much as I can about the world around me and everything in it. <laughs> I am one of those weird people who love school. Not too fond of the people, because sometimes people can be mean, but the knowledge is worth it, very much so. I always try to participate in every aspect of it. I personally don't really participate in the sports though. It's just something I've never really enjoyed, I guess you could say, but I've tried my best with the clubs and I always put my full effort in all of the classes. And I look forward to having many years after high school still being in college and living out my college days and my college career to help me find a really good career and meet a lot of new people on the way. So I guess that's my intro video. Bye. <laughs>